In this activity, we're going to make a hoop plane, which is basically a plane uh, made from uh, two straws and two hoops on the straws themselves. Uh, so what you'll need for this is you'll need some sellotape. Um, so I'm going to use card for this, uh, a scissors and uh, two straws. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make the hoops. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take the card and you're just going to cut it uh, along um, the short side of the paper. Uh, and you want it about maybe two centimeters thick. Now, the, the best thing about this is that you can change the thickness and see how that changes um, the way the hoop plane flies. So that's one of, we're going to make that into a hoop in a moment. And then to make the other hoop, we're going to cut along the um, long side that's left. At the same width as the other one, about two centimeters. So now you can see we have two strips now. Uh, they're just uh, a little bit longer than the other one. So we're going to take the smaller um, strip and we'll just put it around like this and then put a little bit of sellotape on either side of this and then we'll do the exact same with the other one. So now we've made the two hoops and I have a little bit of sellotape on this side of it and also on this side here. And you can see that the two hoops are uh, slightly, one is slightly bigger than the other. Now, um, I have tried this in the past with just one straw, uh, but what I found is that's not really long enough. And it, it, when this thing flies, it kind of flies up and then back down and kind of falls to the ground. So we're going to make a slightly longer version of this. So I'm going to take two straws uh, and then we're going to tape them together to make it into a, a longer straw. Now, these are bendy straws, so we don't want the bend because that's going to weaken the structure. So we're going to cut the two straws at the bend and then we're going to just get a little bit of set tape and uh, tape those two together. Now that we have the two straws together, uh, we're going to attach the hoops. Now to do that, um, you're going to need a little bit of set tape and I put it on to the um, straws first and then you want to put it onto the inside of the hoop, not the outside. It just makes it a little bit easier to put it on the inside of the hoop and try and line it up so it's as straight as possible uh, with the straw. You can see that there and we're going to put the uh, second one on here with another bit and try and line them up as as best you can so you can see now the finished hoop plane uh, and, and you can also see that making it out of just one straw uh, this hoop here would be here and it's just not i find it's not long enough uh, you need nearly need to think of it like a javelin so the idea the science behind this is, is when you throw this is that the air is going to come through uh, this hoop and as it goes through this hoop it's going to hit off the edges of this uh, the, the hoop itself and that's going to give it a small lift up uh, and then that air is then directed towards the back hoop and as the air goes through this hoop it'll also push up on the top bit of this hoop and it will make the thing uh, kind of glide down towards the ground. Uh, now what I found in the past is that when you throw it sometimes it goes up in the air and then back down again uh, and then you might want to just realign the, the hoops themselves. Uh, but the best thing about this is that you can change the design. You can make it smaller and, and, and see. Uh, you could uh, put two hoops on this side and two hoops on that side. Uh, there's many variations that you can do and then you can experiment. That's what science is all about, trying these different things out and see uh, which one goes the furthest and which is the sort of the best lighter. And if it's in a class, uh, you can have a competition to see who comes up with the, 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 the one that goes the furthest. Plus you can go uh, and give a prize to the person who comes with, with the most innovative design. Just to show you some variations, um, this is very similar to the one we just made, uh, but this one has uh, bigger hoops. So uh, this is the size of the back one here. And then I've made this extra um, wide by putting two pieces of carrot together. And instead of using a straw, I've used a bamboo skewer. I've taken off the point of it just to, for safety uh, reasons. And as well as that, the, in the um, the ends of the bamboo skewer are inside the hoops so they can't actually hit anyone. Um, so that does that works. Uh, here's another design uh, where you get the back hoop is actually not a hoop at all. It's kind of square um, or curved shape. It doesn't have to be circular exactly. And then the back one I've squashed down and I've made it into a kind of an eight uh, figure of eight there. And that means that there's two hoops on the back of this plane uh, and we can try that out. And then here's another variation where we have three hoops 
uh, on the plane. Uh, it's about the same size as the other one, um, uh, and that also works. I hope you liked your hoop playing activity. If you'd like to get more of these activities, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button on the bottom of your screen here. Um, if you like these sort of activities, we have one that's very similar to this. It's called the ring wing glider. And it's like a hoop like this, but made out of paper. Uh, so if you like that, you might try it. A link to it is up here in the top of your screen. Thank you very much.